This is a stimulus check update and daily news report. More stimulus programs are starting to become more available for Americans and President Biden is going to ask Congress for more money because of Omicron and the White House is going to help out with utilities during winter. Few rental assistance programs have closed in some states, but some states are asking for more money for rental assistance. The USDA is going to provide more school lunches for kids. We'll go over the latest stimulus check articles like this. How 5,000 American families get $500 every month in new universal basic income program can you apply also a big stimulus milestone has been reached 3 million signatures on that petition Joe Manchin is getting pressured by Barack Obama Bill Clinton and Oprah to get on board for the build back better plan and I'll give you some other important updates as well Hope you're having a wonderful weekend. If you appreciate the fact-based, fast-paced updates, hit the like button down below. So hiring falters in December as payrolls rise only 199,000, though the unemployment rate fell to 3.9%. So non-farm payrolls rose by 199,000 in December, far fewer than the 422,000 estimate. And unemployment is really, really low. It's at a 3.9%, which is what they, they thought it was going to be at a 4.1%. So what are your thoughts? on the job loss. President Biden was asked about this. He kind of brushed it off uh, because there weren't as many jobs created as expected. Speaking of President Biden, so Biden is planning to ask Congress for more money to tackle the pandemic as Omicron rages on. So what type of money is he asking for? Uh, so the White House is preparing to ask Congress for another pandemic spending package. Uh, the pa this package would focus on ramping up vaccines, therapeutics, and assisting in global vaccine efforts. Officials told the Post it, it has sufficient funding to deal with immediate needs, but given Omicron, more will likely be needed. So it doesn't seem like it's going to be a big stimulus package with stimulus checks, but more for vaccines and way to tackle that. Also, President Biden was asked, is COVID here to stay? Here's what his answer is. Is to that. Is America prepared that COVID is here to stay? Uh, no, I don't think COVID is here to stay. That having COVID in the environment here and in the world is probably here to stay. But COVID, as we're dealing with it now, is not here to stay. The new normal doesn't have to be. We have so many more tools we're developing and continuing to develop that can contain COVID and other strains of COVID. So I don't believe this is that if you take a look, we're very different today than we were a year ago, even though we still have problems. But 90% of the schools are open now. Was 98, is down to 90, but is open now because we spent the time and the money in the Recovery Act to provide for the ability of schools to remain open. And, uh, you know, what we're doing now is we talked about, uh, you know, how we're uh, dealing with, uh, with testing. Well, you know, we have been doing now, we've had 300 million tests per month so far. And, uh, that's 11 million tests a day. In addition to that, we've, we're in the process of ordering 500,000 new tests. And so we're going to be able to control this. The new normal is not going to be what it is now. It's going to be better. So what are your thoughts? Is COVID here to stay? Is it going to leave? Is it going to be like the flu where 100 years later it'd still be around? Uh, what are your thoughts on all that? So besides that package that President Biden is asking for for vaccines, Omicron has lawmakers talking about another stimulus round for businesses. So another stimulus package has been introduced, but it is just for businesses to help out with restaurants, gyms, gyms and other entertainment venues as well as minor league ball clubs so that money isn't going to have or that package is not going to have stimulus checks or something for the general public just mainly stimulus checks for businesses also the white house another way the white house could help out americans especially this winter is the white house highlights aid to low-income americans to cover winter heating costs the administration is distributing monetary aid and announced commitments from utility companies to guarantee no shutoffs for those seeking assistance. So yeah, winter is coming, or actually winter's here. Super cold day, especially in the north of the US, a lot of snowstorms. So I guess this is somewhat comforting that there could be aid for uh, heating as well as no shutoffs. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Have you asked for any utility assistance for heating? Have you gotten any? Has the bills been a lot higher because of inflation? Let me know your thoughts on that. Also, some more help coming out. USDA announces increased funding to support school meals and to help continuing service 
uh, serving meal healthy meals to kids. So this came out yesterday, January 7th. They are going to put uh, $750 million more into school meal programs across the nation this year, making sure federal reimbursements keep pace with food and operational costs while ensuring children continue to receive healthy, healthy meals at school. So it looks like there's going to be more food for kids there. And then we have this one, how 5,000 American families will get $500 every month in new universal basic income program. Can you apply? So this is going on in Chicago. So uh, Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot's proposed budget for universal basic income was approved on Wednesday and means 5,000 families are eligible. So the way this is going to work out, you have to have or you have to make less than $35,000 per year and qualified individuals can enroll you just have to apply and uh, yeah then you get $500 so it'll provide $500 a month to 5,000 families uh, for the entire year so that's a lot of money and a lot of families uh, if you're in Chicago let me know if you've applied any luck with that any word back uh, also huge milestone here I've been talking about this for a while so for the fourth stimulus check $2,000 per month to every American petition it finally hit 3 million signatures which is what it was going for I think maybe over the past six to seven months maybe uh, so what does this mean now that it finally hit 3 million signatures does that mean there's going to be stimulus checks for everybody not necessarily so this shows that the public uh, Americans want American civilians want a fourth two thousand dollar per month stimulus check, but currently no politicians are currently lobbying or or endorsing it or pushing for it at the moment. Uh, Democrats can't even get the Build Back Better slimmed down version through Congress. Uh, they might not even get the voting rights through Congress, so they're having a tough time. Let alone a fourth stimulus check. When it comes to uh, rental assistance, so rental assistance has ended in four states. Act fast or miss out on support worth up to $63,000. So a lot of different rental assistance programs were still going on. A few of them shut down. Some of the ones that shut down recently have been New York, Oregon, New Jersey, Texas, and Washington, D.C. Uh, those areas had their federal funds exhausted. But in a place like New York, uh, the let me get to it. Yeah, judge orders New York's COVID rent relief program to reopen applications. So although applications have closed, they're trying to get the program up and running again. So if you're in New York, there might be a chance to get rental assistance again. When it comes to the Build Back Better plan, Oprah Winfrey, Barack Obama, and Bill Clinton have called Joe Manchin and urged him to back killing the filibuster so the Democrats can pass voting rights legislation. So their Democrats are getting desperate. They're trying to get Joe Manchin on board for anything in any way possible. Uh, here is more of what was said about that. Democrats are apparently trying a new tactic to get Joe Manchin to sign on to possible Senate rule changes in order to get essential voting rights legislation passed. They've reportedly enlisted the likes of Bill Clinton and Oprah to try to convince him. The most productive discussions are said to be between Manchin and fellow centrist Democrats, some of whom only recently changed their minds on filibuster reform. From Politico, Senator Tim Kaine likened the effort to his 27-hour drive to Washington earlier this week after a snowstorm devastated I-95. Slow progress toward a goal, like my commute. With us tonight, Don Calloway, Democratic strategist and founder of the National Voter Protection Action Fund, and Tim Miller, contributor to The Bulwark and the former communications director for Jeb Bush. It is good to see you both. Tim, I remember less than a month ago, Joe Manchin was complaining about the public pressure campaign around Build Back Better. One, is any of this going to work? And two, a question I often ask myself, if Oprah can't do it, who can? <laughs> I mean, Oprah can't hurt, I guess, right? Uh, look, I, I think the question with Manchin is this. The Democrats, uh, you know, have to come up with something that Manchin can take back to his own voters in West Virginia and, and, and sell to them, or at least feel good about selling to them. I, I don't know that Oprah is it, right? And, and so does that mean, you know, some sort of trade? Can he bring over a Republican or two and say, hey, we did a compromise. They wanted to push me to, you know, the extremes, and I'm coming back with something sensible. They got to give him something that he can sell in a state that voted 70% for Donald Trump. Uh, the other thing I have here is that all this pressure shouldn't be on Joe Manchin. Uh, you know, I, the, the Republicans cannot continue to get left off the hook, and the Democrats got to put pressure on Republicans. 
there's a very small window here from now until November where there is at least a modicum of normalcy in the Republican Senate caucus. There are a lot of extremists. There are a lot of folks who've gone along with Trump. But there were seven Republican senators who voted to convict Trump. There's another handful that are retiring who are kind of the old guard, your traditional Republican types. Once those folks are gone, they're going to be replaced with crazy maggots. And so it's, so the Democrats should also be saying, what can we sell to them? Is there a way we can fix the Electoral Count Act and make a couple of changes, You know, bring back the old Civil Rights Act that we can get Mitt Romney on board? Maybe that's a pipe dream, but, but there needs to be a track B on this as well, instead of having all your chips in the basket of a guy that represents a very, very red state. Don, I want to welcome you to also weigh in on Tim's analysis there, but also talk about some misconceptions around voting that surfaced in a focus group discussion the New York Times conducted with Republican voters. One of those voters said, quote, the right to vote thing. I've never been turned down to vote. Just show up and go vote. But this whole mail-in ballot thing, I think that should end right away. I mean, isn't that part of the problem, Don, that some voters do have no issue voting while other voters have to jump through innumerable hoops and wait in line. Yeah, that's absolutely the problem. I mean, voting access is not equal and frankly has never been equal across this country. When you look at long lines, when you look at uh, voting not happening on Saturday, it happens in the middle of workday, all of these things for a lot of Americans are tantamount to a poll tax. And that is what the idea of ballot box expansion is all about the idea of trying to get at. So the person who gave that quote to the New York Times, unfortunately, embarrassed himself or herself. Uh, it was probably a dude. Dudes generally say dumb stuff like that. But uh, yeah, it, it's just, this is just someone who generally clearly doesn't understand the idea of a robust voting rights platform. But I would also say, uh, I, unfortunately, I don't think that I don't think this is a circumstance where Oprah, Barack Obama are going to get the job done. That's simply not who Joe Manchin responds to. I know I switched up topics there, but uh, I agree with Tim that there's 99 other senators who need to be pressured to make this thing uh, come home for, for Joe Biden and his agenda. What are your thoughts on that? Is anything going to convince Joe Manchin to go along with whatever the Democrats want? Or do you agree with Joe Manchin that he could do whatever he wants and just because he's part of the Democratic Party, he could uh, make up his own mind? Let me know your thoughts on all of that. Uh, so with Manchin pressured to back filibuster changes by Clinton, Obama, and Oprah, uh, it doesn't seem like it's working so far. Nothing has worked. The present, current president hasn't convinced him. Why would past presidents convince him, and especially Oprah? When it comes to the Build Back Better, looks like that has been pushed to the side for now, and doesn't seem like that is on the on the. It's going to be voted on anytime soon because the voting rights have seemed to be taken priority. It's going to probably be voted on by Martin Luther King Day. And after that, maybe build back better. We just don't know yet. I'll keep you updated if anything changes. That is all the stimulus news that I have for you today to hopefully brighten your day a bit. Here's my daughter Bella's tip of the day. Hi, guys. This is Bella. This is the tip of the day. Do you like my uh, stress ball? You squeeze and then you feel better. So, so I'm going to tell you one thing you should do. Do the things that you want to do because that you only have one life. Thank you so much for watching. So today is the day that I finally get to eat something I haven't eaten since last year. I haven't had my first meal yet. I wanted to get this video to you first. And I'm probably going to have some fruit. So after having a juice cleanse, I guess you're not supposed to eat a big meal. Although I just want like, I just want a huge plate of bacon. <laughs> That's what I'm craving. Uh, but I have to like ease my system. Otherwise, I could get sick, I guess, if I eat a regular meal. So I have to have like fruit and soup first. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm definitely uh, excited to start eating again. Uh, if you want to check out my latest Wise Buys video talking about a gel infused pillow, you could click this link up here. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, be safe. Thank you for watching.